pattern stamp tool how to use the pattern stamp tool you can find that you can find the pattern stamp tool under this right click on this and below the clone stamp tool you can find the pattern stamp tool and the shortcut is letter s so click this one pattern stamp tool is like a brush tool but it will paint the it will paint the base on the pattern it paints using a cho chosen pattern for let's say we have a pattern i have here a butterfly it will paint that butterfly into this image Control z we are going to create a layer click on this to create a new layer and we will going to paint something on that by default uh, pattern stamp tool can select the different kind of brush brush here also it is under normal and other blending modes you can choose that and opacity of 100 flow of 100 and the align is the align is checked align is you can resize this by right clicking align means if you brush on this and you brush on that and you release the brush and you start again on the other side it will continue based on the previous brush you can control z to cancel let's say we turn this off i'm going to brush here it will brush that one and i release the mouse and start again here it will not continue that one so that's the align the purpose of the align so let's check the align now we are going to load another texture or pattern i load this before but i'm going to show you on how you can load it so by the way i'm going to link this uh, patterns on the description so you can practice along with the tutorial so in order to take this pattern we have to select the marquee tool rectangular marquee tool and make a selection from the top left going to the bottom bottom right and go to the edit under edit choose the defined pattern and we are going to rename it say pattern one and click ok and we are going to select this also so make it like this and edit define pattern pattern two and click enter and the other one here where we're just going to select some part of this let's say this area then go to edit under edit check on the define pattern and rename it pattern 3 and you can click uh, press the control D to deselect this or you can go to select under select deselect also for this control D control D now we are going to add a pattern on this arc for this building so for, but before that we are going to use the poly polygon lasso tool to select this area and only to add the pattern here so click on that it will create a selection of this Then meet on the first point, the origin, and if there's a circle, that means you meet the first point, and click on that, and it will make a selection. Now, activate your your pattern stamp tool, and select the pattern that we load, that we saved. First, we are going to choose these tiles here, and brush on this. By default, the brush or the, this uh, pattern stamp tool brush is a soft brush but you can choose also the hard and it will create a hard brush let's return it to the soft brush 
so you can do this way now press ctrl D now we are going to add press I forget this ctrl D now we are going to add another pattern here but we are going to use first the lasso tool to only add part of here you can create a pattern or brush the pattern say this one the reason why I'm using the path the polygon lasso tool because I want to only specify on this area control Z to cancel now we are going to make a new layer again click on this to create a new layer then click on the lasso polygon lasso tool and select this Let's say we want also to add this part. Control minus to zoom out and make on the first point, and it will create make this selection. Now activate the clone or the pattern stamp tool. Now we are going to choose this another pattern this one click on this and start brushing so that's the main purpose of the pattern pattern stamp tool and for the last part control D we are going to select this control Z Select this. You can play pretty much on the pattern stamp tool. For this, I'm just going to illustrate on how you can use it. Now we are going to use the pattern stamp tool and the different pattern which is this one and create a new layer and just select the other one which is this one and start brushing and you can change the let's say i'm going to select the, the second one and change the the blending mode so let's say soft light you can do this also and for this multiply or other blending mode let's just leave it uh, normal so that's the use of pattern stamp tool in Photoshop you can play along with this change the you can change the the modes here it said solve and you can adjust also the flow the flow is the flow of the brush if you increase the flow it will make the the brush more thick let's create a new layer and also the angle Im impression is is when you check on this it will create this uh, shady kind of effect of the pattern stamp tool based on the pattern you select so we'll create on that so that's pattern stamp tool in photoshop i hope this video tutorial helps you don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching